we're gonna talk about the office, but I think the office and like the first movie is the hell holds up, bro. Well, they are. They're all boy. Zeus in the first movie, damn. Hey, hey. Also, Gina looks so much better in Martin and in how. Uh, hey, what up, y'all? Wow. It's the Normies wow. coming at you with the Normies <laughs> podcast. <laughs> well, that's. The only you, there's a lot of iterations of Gina. You got to see Little House on the Horrors, a little Little House of Horrors when she's like a little a little chibi, mm. and then you watch all the house parties, and then you watch Martin, and, and then, then you my watch house, my wife and kids. My wife and kids. My, my wife on. and kids. She was the best. You're forgetting one, Gina. and that is um shit. What's the movie? Uh, Zach and Mary make a porno. She wasn't there. She, was she in is there. the wife in that movie. Oh, oh shit. What, wow. what Gina are you talking? You know about? the girl from in the first movie, <clears throat> Martin yeah, Gina. From Martin. Yeah, she's not. She's in. She's the she's uh Craig uh, Robertson's wife. Oh yeah, I'm no sorry, way. I was thinking about the random. She was my okay. biggest crush. Nah, bro, Tashina Arnold. Yeah, nah, I don't know. Old. Tashina Arnold yeah. started my love for dark skinned women. Yeah, he ain't wrong about that, <laughs> bro. Tashina, <laughs> Tashina, Tashina no, no, Arnold no, 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 is no, no, a no, no, long no, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. First house party, yes. Tashina Arnold. I'm talking about Martin and the other shows. Gina was my Gina was my crush. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. But. Tashina Arnold, she's also Pam and Martin, ain't it? Yeah, she's Pam and Martin. She's not a Pam. Pam. No, Tashina Arnold is Are you guys Arnold talking about the girl whose abs friend. had abs? The friend. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she oh, is abs. Oh. Is, is that the... Yeah, the one who lives in the projects yeah, she, with, she, with, with all the Kool-Aid? She's fine. Fine. Yeah, she's fine. 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 She's, she's, she's in a new show right now with Cedric Wilson, The Neighborhood, and with that one guy from... Uh, you guys like the That show. was a good show. You showed it to me. Yeah, and this guy... The, uh, what was the, good, the white guy from uh, that one show? New guy. No, no, no. Family guy. No. New girl. New girl. DJ. Uh, Schmidt, oh, Schmidt. 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 All right, all right. It's actually a really good New show. New Girl's a good show. We can catch up. I don't know how we just got on to, <laughs> to Well, all right, we can catch up. What do you, what, what y'all been up to? What y'all been doing? Dude. No, 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 Chester. No, you can't come in here. You do this every time. Aww. Just, Aww. Look at it. <laughs> all right, we can catch up. Uh, I binged Attack on Titan in preparation for the... the the final season that's going to be in so many parts and who knows when the final is going to be but uh, it's such a dense show that I thought I would go back and watch it and I'm actually watching it in dubs so that I could like background watch it it's different um, <laughs> you know I like the dub Mickey he doesn't like it. dub he, in no, no, general I, as a concept. Okay, look, look, look. I like it if I, I don't mind dubs something. because, like, I, I do think that dubs are, are like, Full Metal Alchemist is a great dub. I think My Hero Academia is a pretty decent dub, but then, you know, to be fair, I haven't seen the sub. I think there are certain animes that should be non-negotiable sub. And I feel like Attack on Titan is one of them. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, subs and dubs are both good, but some animes should be experienced in the sub. Okay. But... <clears throat> Attack on Titan is so dense that I think it should be watched once in sub and once in dub. What it, sub first to experience it. When you say dense, I think bad. Like no, 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 no. Yeah. Dense as in it's just like very okay. lore heavy, and and the way they do their storytelling, like they'll drop like big, huge yeah. things just yeah. in the middle of a sentence. Nice. So like the dub does make it easier to understand, and it is good. Like there's some good voice acting, but there's some parts of it where I'm just. I like, will why, say why they do that. I give you that, Mickey. But my my whole thing is this, and it's because I'm stupid. So when I say this, take it to let it be known. I do not think, I don't think it's possible <laughs> to grasp all of the visuals and read at the same time. One hundred percent agree. I with don't. That. Uh, I yeah. don't think it's possible, especially and especially with Attack on Titan. Yeah, especially. Yeah, I'll give you that. There's I'll a moment that. on the wall in the episode Warrior. No spoilers, but if you know it, you know it. And if you're trying to watch and read at the same time, I remember having an aneurysm being like, what? hold on, what? What? Hold on, what? No, what? But what? That, but that's kind of what that show is. Try that's the feeling that you're supposed to be like, wait, whoa, what the fuck did she just say? Like, you know? Like yeah. <laughs> and it lends to, or like, even if we were watching, like, I don't know, there's just, there's, it's like visual spectacles are going on and I don't want to have to read at the same time. That That's all. I like, I'm trying to look and read and I'm going to miss something. And I, me personally, the person I am, I'd rather miss the context of the words than I would hey Mickey put a put the chair with the legs in it for, in front of it because that way the chair with the legs can't be moved yeah. but they'll, they'll always move the rolly boy cause, watch yeah, the lights yeah. and e Mickey's knocking down the light I'm going to narrate what's happening <laughs> Mickey's attempting to barricade us in here so the dogs can't come in he actually put the chair in front of the chair and then, the the and the chair and then, and then he tripped over the camera a little oh, wow. bit and oh, the wow. light and oh, for wow. some reason held his junk while he's scooting over here. Yeah, you are in rare form today. <laughs> Defamation. That was like a three stooges, but with one stooge. De Defamation. 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 I'm so glad we can cuss on Twitch. Right. All right. So, uh, Defamation. 
What what else did you do, Mickey? Did you just binge? Yeah, also, I, I, I like to point out the weekend catch up is a misnomer. It's actually the week. Yeah, I mean, th- and honestly, that's kind of, there's a lot of episodes to get through, you know. So like, how far did you get? I finished season one. I've started season two. I'm like maybe three episodes into season two. So huh. season two is only twelve episodes. Then you got a lot of work to do. Bum, ba, dum, well, season one was twenty five episodes. Bum, season two is twelve episodes. So I, I I'll be able to do it. I'll be able to do it. And it's worth it. It's worth it, man. It's gonna man, it, mm, man. I do show. have one question. Damn. I know you hate the dubs. I know you hate dubs. I, no, 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 don't say I hate dubs. But did you, you're a hater. I prefer you're a hater. subs. <laughs> I prefer this so Captain Urban's speech. Have you got there yet? No. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll say mean, this: Urban's voice actor is pretty good. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, he's he's, 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 also, like, he's also, like a veteran voice I, actor. Have you met? I do like the dub Hanji. I really like dub. Hanji. Okay. Have you met? Have you met? Uh, Levi? Not Levi. I'm not Levi. I don't care for Levi. But Levi's uncle yet. Get it? I'm not. Uh, no, that's season three. I see. Oh. Get it? All right. Get so, <laughs> uh, what about you, Spidrick? Oh, up man, to? what the fuck did we do? Um, I have for the been, week. It doesn't have to be the weekend. Yeah, I mean for the entire week. There's been a lot of working out. Me and Bria are both kind of just on this journey of trying to get super sexy and plan out. Um, I think you guys are already there, man. Traveling. I really think yeah. we're gonna start Noli fans up. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> uh, might as well. Um, yeah, we'll just do like random photo wanna... shoots, and I'm gonna talk to Chris about how to do do jar and boudoir shoots. Yeah, man, I can hook you up. Boudoir. I can, I can, because you know, with our OnlyFans, I, I've I've learned a lot of life lessons. We've been doing it for I think uh, since 2021. I got I I can I can be your guide. That'd be sweet. Is there into the world of cultivated for, dick pics? Is there a market for just yep. just hideous yep. feet? Because I could I could. Catch yep. Hideous yeah, feet. What, you, uh, the, what is it? Rule thirty two or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Mickey, what you got to do is is you want to you want to grab a hot dog. All right. You want to mount it so that the camera is like POV for the hot dog, <laughs> and then you the want to just the... smash it with your feet. Okay. Just grind it into a hot doggy okay. pulp, <laughs> and then you sell so the hot dog there, pieces is there on a, Etsy. Is there a market for hairy? Feet with non pedicure toes. <laughs> yeah. Go get a pedicure. Well, I'll, also Bro. though, dead serious. Go get a pedicure. Great. It's, it's going to be the best Does hour you've ever hurt? spent. I, no. no I, 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 okay, okay. Here's the I'll thing. Go with here's you. the thing. I don't know if you want to get one. Too. Here's the thing. Yeah. You I'm, never no. I'm very where, self-conscious where, about my feet. Where, They're not where, that where, bad, but the reason I haven't gone to a pedicure is because gross. I don't want to subject the person to like have to oh, have you so then, they, they want to then do they're it. that bad i know like, but what do you mean? they're not that bad but i don't want to subject anyone to them well they're, they're not terrible. that bad because i you know i'm fine with wearing sandals but like well, i just you're I don't fine know. with your feet <laughs> Hold on. who here has not had a mani pedi i've I never had a mani pedi none of you guys never and had I rock all right time, we, so that's terrible we need a boys day we listen yeah. i when i was in atlanta my homie was like oh he was like bro let's go get mani pedis and i was like all right i'm down it was dope they they serve you wine. My nigga fell asleep, bro, and they were on his toes yeah. with the grinder, Chris. dog, because they look like they look like Dracula teeth. Can Damn. we, can, can we like watch TV? Can we like? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Let's see if we can set this up somehow. Okay, we'll we'll find a, a spa in town that wants to do like a like a collab. Uh huh. And if we could do the podcast while we're getting Manny Petty. Okay. Like Ma- Manny Petty podcast. Sick. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we can hook these mics That'd be so the height. The hard part is not falling just, asleep. That's the hardest part about getting Manny Petty. We can rent some logs. Touching your feet. Yeah, like Delicate. riding your feet. I'm ticklers too. I don't want to kick them. Oh no. my god! You if you kick somebody, <laughs> I need to see this. Uh, they're gonna die. He just said he got steaks for feet. Oh, like, right, like, Buffy the Vampire. So, oh, I can't wait. So can't y'all wait been trying to get I'm sexy. How's it been going? I heard you. Uh, what, what's your weight goal? You yeah, had a new weight goal today that you hit. Didn't it's you? been good. Yeah, I've actually been trying to get under 200 pounds for Damn. like a year. Wow. My I man, 200 today. Good shit. Uh, just to to kind of see, I did like one of those body composition scales. And it made me getting, feel. Did make you feel bad? Oh yeah, yeah. hell yeah. I, I was like two twenty seven, and I was like thirty percent body fat. Dang. Yeah, and I'm down to two hundred now, and I don't know what my body percent. Yeah, I got a scale right here. That'll tell you. That's nice. dope. Yeah, I'm gonna check that. Shit. Um, damn, bro. Well, congrats. Is it mostly eating or working out? Which one? Or is it both? I, I have it's been be both. climbing. I it's haven't both. lifted weights in I don't know how long, but, but I've I think been it's eating. rock climbing. And yeah, we eat well. Nice. We do a lot of cooking at home. If you guys go to Bria's Instagram. That, that food is real. And man, we gotta get a HelloFresh <laughs> sponsorship because I've been doing HelloFresh now and it's the best. It is. is HelloFresh yeah. really yeah. changes yeah. the game. It is the best. It, I love that at the beginning it's like, it's gonna take 30 minutes and I'm like, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all I needed. That's You've yeah. prepared me for it. I can do it now. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, it, man, it's, it's, it's dope and I'm saving money and I haven't like ordered Uber Eats in a long time except this morning I did it I finally did it but uh, I, I want to try HelloFresh but it just sounds I just started we just started kind of meal Dude, prepping you get expensive a 
It's way cheaper than what you're doing right now. I promise. For real? Yes. It, it only doesn't make sense if you're doing HelloFresh and well, still buying groceries. It depends on it. how much you eat. Like I'm on. I a, eat a lot. I'm on a. Th- I eat like a lot. Then it might be a little expensive for you, but still do the math versus like how you're eating right now. Like, but I, I'm on a three meal plan. Each meal is two servings. Man, I wish we were sponsored because this would be a great, great one right now. But it's, it's really, that's six meals a week. It's like 50, 60 bucks for the food and then like $11 for shipping. So I'm spending like 70 a week. So you get Which six sounds meals. like a lot. You but get like, six meals for 70 bucks. Oh, essentially. $10, it's $10 a day. Essentially. Which okay. is? That, which is like what you go get the Chipotle. Yeah. yeah, and that's why, but the food's better. And you're cooking it and, and you're learning good. skills. Like yeah. Marquetta. We were doing, uh, she wasn't doing HelloFresh. Well, we were doing HelloFresh, but she was doing Noom as well. And Noom gave her this great salad recipe. Noom is really it's, good. Uh, yeah. It's fennel, onions, and arugula. And it's super good. It's got like a homemade dressing in it. And she makes it all the time, and I fucking love it. So, nice. so does HelloFresh have like normal food? Like, you know, yes. like guys for like, you know, guys who just want normal stuff, no food food stuff. What, 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 motherfucker, what, tell yeah, me what normal what food, food is. Normal food. D- describe what you mean. Like, what do you, you know, not want on your Like, food? you know, just meat. You, you, do you and like, then rice or like you know noodles you like, or something like that. So now, like, tell me so, what frou frou stuff is. Frou frou stuff is like you know like give me something like that. You know, like truffles or mushrooms. Tr- what you is like your truffles? what is your problem with truffles? Wait wait you don't like truffles? Oh, your and, mouth is and broken. Also, are you talking about a keto diet? Because yes, they have keto stuff. They have keto I, I don't, no, keto. I, don't, I, I need my carbs, but like. I just like you know like tr- like I don't I don't want like a Vegetables. mushroom on there. So I don't mushrooms are frou frou. Okay, so check this out. I'm confused. You can just stop ordering mushrooms. There's certain shit. ingredients that you can substitute. They, I can't. Yeah. So like, yeah. if I don't want or, tomatoes, no tomatoes. You know they'll send it to you. You don't have to use it. Yeah, but also if they send you a recipe with tomatoes in it, why don't it's you gonna be an integral it? part of the recipe? Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've tried it. Yeah, yeah, guys. No, think, no, like, I've never you, tried no, these foods. I've tried them before. I mean, when you cook them, when you cook them into stuff, I I grew raw tomatoes, gross, absolutely gross. Incorrect. But when you but when you like. Cook it into stuff. It's good. All right. Fried green tomatoes. You literally, I've seen you eat pizza. 30% of pizza is tomatoes. Yeah, but that's different. That's tomato (laughs) sauce. It's cooked in. It's still tomatoes. It's cooked into it. And there's no skin. That's my case. Okay, so the skin is the part of the tomato that's too far for you. We can skin a tomato for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, I also had date night. Ooh. What'd you do? Yeah, we ended up going out. We were did we go bowling? We ended up going bowling. No, we were supposed to go bowling. We went out to the vault, and then we ended up going out. How's the vault? To, uh, interesting. Uh, okay, well, yeah. I'm still excited to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's hidden. There's whiskey, and I figured out the code pretty quick, pretty easily. Okay, but that's dope. Yeah, nice. But you have to go to their Instagram to figure it out. And you know what? The vault is sick, but we got there super late. No, the and that's the one in Bates Hendricks, right? I don't know where the fuck It's off of East Street Bro I followed the GPS And it had me go down an alley <laughs> And they wanted me to park in the back And I was like no, oh, nah, Was, it, da- was it downtown or close to Fountain Square Downtown uh, Close to Fountain Square Okay then yeah. I know what you're talking you I, just, I had my, my little sister was telling me about it And I had the bus parked over there And I was like Why is there a line of people outside of that house And I was like That's, yeah. the, that's the spot Wait <laughs> Have you ever been to That sounds like Whiskey Tango No no Is that different Whiskey Have you ever been to Whiskey no. Tango it's, it's also near Fountain Square it's right across the street from... Uh, is it behind us safe? Across the street from no. Chili Water, Mickey? Yep, yep, yep. You're thinking of Hotel Tango. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, Hotel what did tango. I just say? You said Whiskey Tango. Whiskey Tango. Yeah, what? Hotel Tango. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, they sell whiskey. I was, I was, yeah. I was in the ballpark. Um, <laughs> Pat, what did you do? What, what you been up to? i am also been trying to you know, get sexy, so I've just been working out. Bro, come climbing. I know, but I, I can't come climbing yet. I need to work on my hand grip. First. What? Yeah. Man, yeah. Bro, no. Up. Yeah, yeah. stop that bullshit. Come today. I'm going with the deuce and back like, to the top. Dude, bro, my right. hand grip is horrible. That's how bro, you okay. develop it. How else are you going to I'm not it? trying to come up there and act look like a full night climb I, up on I that I don't shit. know what you think you're going to be climbing day one, but it's not I that. see this motherfucker climb and jump. Just jump yeah, that's I, a uh, hard thing. Yeah, Most of them are like shit. ladders, bro. Pat, Pat, get out your head. Failure yeah. is necessary for success. You gotta, this man you gotta said, I got to get my... Yeah, but I'm not trying failure. to fall. You you guys got nice spines. I got I don't have a nice shut spine. Shut up. Spine. What do you mean? <laughs> I got a hairline <laughs> pressure on my neck. I, I don't have a nice this. spine? I got, I, I got a, a fucking sciatica. <laughs> my guy said he got a bad spine. <laughs> you out here walking around daily with a bad spine. Pat, so what, do you, well, what have you been doing to get sexy? I just lifted a lot. Um, is it working? I know worse. you said you go to bed hungry. And I... 
I think for the amount that you work out, I don't know heavy. Who's a, you I, was talking about that yesterday? I, no, no, no. But that's when I was dieting. I'm okay, not like okay, dieting, okay. dieting right now. I, I see how hard you work out and how much effort you put in. I want to know if this shit's working for you. Well, see, the thing is, like, you got to work hard and you got to also get the diet in there at the same time. And like, rest, which you don't do at all. The rest the rest is the hardest part, bro. I, I, I feel like that's the easiest part. <laughs> so, but, but, <laughs> no, it's not. I've been resting for so long. <laughs> my whole life I've been good at resting. 90% of my life is rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but the thing is, like, once you start grinding, like then the rest is hard because like you just feel so guilty. And that's all you think about. Is, like man, you feel like a piece of but, shit. Like, like you don't go to the, the gym. The but rest like, is when the, you build the, the muscle. Top athletes in the world, like the people that you listen and aspire to, will tell you fucking sleep. I I I, I so, I, I, sleep. so how, I, how can you feel guilty about something that's part of the process? I sleep though, but I just don't. You get should sleep feel guilty though. about doing it wrong. Yeah, I feel like. Um, <laughs> Yeah, man. You when you're not doing anything, that's some of the best thing. Pat yeah. doesn't like to be alone with his thoughts. No, nope. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> or if you sauna, I do. I sauna every day too. Not I can't do the sauna. I can't breathe in that bitch. Oh my god, man! This guy. You have so many excuses you, to not right. Be you, you can't. You can't climb because you got bad hands and a. Bad I got ass. Right. He can't. I got ass because he can't I got breathe. ass. I got real ass, about Chris. My I man don't the want you got, <laughs> but I got the real kind. All right. You I just have to be on the sauna. Sauna is like really hard to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's like. Bro, I feel yeah. like I can't breathe in there, man. I used to so love head, going you gotta to the take gym a water when it was twenty four seven, and like I'd get a late night workout and then go chill in the. Man, I miss that, but then they had. To Come on, you can still do. It. I go to no, the time, you're right here, here bro. Bitches, you're right here. No, right, you guys have a steam room. They're you're not twenty four seven anymore. So yeah, yeah, I don't like. I can't do that though. This, which one? The, the both. I, I tried yeah. the. I tried the like the dry, where it's just like coals or like something like that, like the water you pour into. Yeah, it's just hot in there. Yeah, we. I can do you no steam, bro. Listen, listen. I don't. I don't know why you won't. You won't just try it. You can come by. I've done it. But you haven't tried it my way, right? Finished up. I, 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 I try to finish, but I, and when I say I'm out, I'm out. That's okay, because I, mean, I, I can't, can't breathe. I can't breathe. So wait, have you, do you not? Like do I you feel. Sweat I, when, do you sweat when you work out? Not really. The, the, then when you're I, not working out, or no, 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 you're not sweating. I, sw- I, I so like I have two workouts that I do in a day. No, so, he be sweating. So I I do I do like I do like a warm up workout. And then I do like my working set workout. Yeah. So then my working set workout, I sweat. But my warm up, like the first hour, I don't like I don't sweat. I'm just like you know warming up. But then my other one, yeah. You warm up and don't sweat. Mm-mm. So like, or at least from what I've learned back in like, just from working out and like track and all that stuff, your warm up, you should be sweating when you're getting ready to do whatever you're about to do. I, I, I'm trying. I'm not trying to work that hard because I got to do cardio afterwards. That's where I sweat the most is the cardio. Okay. I mean, I. I got you. I want to. I got. I want to find a trainer for. Pat, you. He on, had a trainer on for me. average. How many days per work do you work out, and how many hours per day? So, <laughs> all right, this, right, right now, I'm still getting it back in the motion because you know I'm like you I got that injury. The on, injury in your so, peak. In your peak. In my peak. Average, all right. In my in average. my peak, it was every day. Every day. Right, seven days a week. Seven days. Seven a week. days a week. No. But, 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 but uh, on a Sunday, it was light. I just did light stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you constantly sore? No, because I'm used to it. Then his his body's I don't know that that's working. His body's it's not, not how resting. Works, you're not healing. working. Okay, so how many, right. how many hours per day? Seven days a week. I'm doing about three to four hours a day. But like you split up. Right? So so three to four hours a day, and then I'd so like not all of it's just lifting. So like you know twenty minutes of his stretching, or like you know a back roll like foam rolling, and then the other hour is for cardio. All right, and then the other is, is just lifting. I don't know that you're ever gonna look any different, but you're mm-hmm. gonna outlive us all. <laughs> I mean, that's that, that, well, well, that's what we're working out. We right? gotta get him to rest one day a week. One day a week, you gotta just you guys just be alone with your thoughts, man. You are, you're not try- <laughs> are you trying to grow your muscles? Because I thought if you, I thought like if you're not hurting, like no pain, no gain. Is that what they always say? No, but those like minor like tears, no, no, those I, minor I, tears I, that I, you get I, in your muscles I feel, don't. I, I feel the soreness, but I don't feel like the soreness of like you guys like the first time, like you know, after like the first time working out, like. I feel like when I flex right now, like yesterday I did back, right? Mm-hmm. But now my back feels sore when I flex it. But like, when I like, you know. Okay. You, you know what's weird? Like when you fall out of working out, like going back to work, at least for me. I, when I say I haven't worked out for like months and then I want to go back to working out, I dread that soreness. But then when I do it and I experience it, I, I love it. I love oh, it. I love I, the soreness. I love that sore feeling. I, I, it just I, makes you feel I, like, I, yeah, key, after I did, I did My something. legs are coming in, bro. But man, I'll tell you what, my leg soreness, those, those are the nice feelings. Boy, pa- so over the weekend, over the week, uh, I've gotten back started on my quilt project, which means I've been taking pictures of strangers' genitals. Mm. Nice. That's Ooh. been uh, weird and fun, I guess. 
mostly weird. Good old stranger drunk. Good old stranger drunk. Um, so did that, uh, building that back up. A lot of people were really receptive to it at the art show, so I'm back at that, which is tight. Um, what? Oh, I got a new bike. Nice. Nice. Uh, fixy. So my fixed gear bike got stolen um, because, you know, I, I lived in a place Rest that... Rest in peace. R.I.P. Mickey's right. I should have I should have been more paranoid, but instead I was like, what are the chances of... There's like a, literally 100 <laughs> bikes in this room. And I was like, what are the chances that my bike gets stolen twice out of 100? And the answer is, is I should have got a lottery ticket because I was on something <laughs> Dude, for that. Dude, I, I that miss month. my... But also, CD didn't you not lock your bike up both times? But like, <laughs> yeah. keep in mind, it's... <laughs> In a locked garage behind a locked door Doesn't matter. inside of hey, a man, room. No, like, no excuses. You know? I should have <laughs> locked mine up, too. Mine was on my patio, and I lived inside of a gated community. So I was like, yeah, it should be fine. Especially <laughs> after the first time. See, but, like, after the first, like, here's here's my reasoning. After the first time, they stole my $1,200 e-bike, and I was like, God. okay, well, fuck. And then my other bike that was in there, yeah, I spent, like, 150 crazy. on. And I was, and also, there's plenty of other bikes in a room that aren't locked up. So I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then that one gets stolen. I'm like, well, what the fuck, bro? Like, Jesus. Yeah. So anyway, that's on me. Now, new me has the bike double locked up at my <laughs> own house. And there's only one way to get in that door. And it's with a chainsaw. So hopefully I hear it. But if I come home and someone chainsaws the door open, I don't want to hear you motherfuckers <laughs> being like, you should have locked it up even harder. You should have locked it better. <laughs> you should have locked both wheels and the body. Uh, but I got a new bike. Um it is a uh, fixed gear again. It's uh, from Crew District, which is like a mid tier like a uh, bike company. So I had to. I uh, usually when I get a new bike, I'll replace the seat and I'll replace the pedals because uh, the seats are never good enough for my, my cheeks. Mm. <laughs> and uh, the pedals, I'm I I keep breaking pedals. The like custom one, the standard what? ones that come with like kind of a shitty bike. Hey, wait, I'm sorry. Are we live? Because there's like nobody in the chat. There's I right. just got into this. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, we are live. I'm sorry, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brown Recluse. Uh, but so, yeah, uh, new bike. So first day out, I was like, let me let me see how it rides. Let me test it out. And I did 9.7 miles. Ooh, nice. And I was like, and in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll maybe bang like 15 or something like that and get to like nine. It's just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I was it, like, well. It's really easy to rack up miles on a bike. Like my favorite day. I, I still have is like man it was back in like peak quarantine where like Mass Ave was shut down yeah. and like Rod Ripple was shut oh, down good old days so I met, like met, up, met up with some friends early in the morning and we biked like we went from like I don't know maybe like 9 or 10 in the morning to like 5 p.m. Yeah. damn and in the like we made stops like we got stopped, some food we got a beer eat, kept got going. some beer dude total like we because we had a on an app like we did like 44 45 miles that day nice. and man i just like that, that's still like my favorite day to think about i do i think i could bike all just day just doing nothing yeah. just biking around on trails we went from we took the monon down to broad ripple went to sun king just yeah. that man god dang it that was that's why that's why i wish we had some really major foot traffic shopping area like that like when back that, how we did when mass Ave was only foot traffic it was a dream but yeah. nobody was supposed to be outside but it was absolutely flooded yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But I was, it was amazing i i enjoyed it i i enjoyed it a lot i used to roller skate like up and down mass Ave. i fucking loved it but like i so i thought in my mind because here's the thing is that it is easy to rack up those kind of miles when you're not on fix when you're in fix and you have to pedal the whole time. Yeah. That, and that's why I did it is because I need, I don't, I, I can't, I can't do 30 miles every day. You know what I mean? But I can do probably like 10 every day because it takes like an hour to do like 10 miles in because I'm pedaling the whole time. I came back. My legs were dead. <laughs> I was fucking dying. And then there's a way to stop on a fixed gear bike when you have, so I got pedals with straps on them and you can like lock your legs and make the bike skid. And the muscles you use to do that are like why would you do here. that yourself? In like your top groin area, and so I, I tried it yesterday, and I hadn't done it in a while. I was oh, like, no. oh, you didn't I was like, oh no, no, I haven't used that muscle in years. <laughs> Boy, you ain't limber up. That's that's scary because like one, one of the best parts is to be able to like uh, you know you hear that clickety clackety sound. The when backspin, you, yeah, the backspin yeah. on the pedals, or like when you just pick up speed and then you just coast. No coasting, you know? <laughs> all work. It's just you know like, what happens when you pick up speed on a fixed gear? You go even. For, your legs are like, well, I guess I can't slow down now. <laughs> I guess yeah. we're in it. <laughs> I was going down a hill and I was like, man, just let it take me. <laughs> but so anyway, it, it was a really good ride. Um, I got hissed at by a bunch of geese. They were all in my, my face. Um, and I'm excited because I can I I got it maxed now where I'm thinking about 
what I'll end up doing is riding to the gym. And I think that that might be my like five miles there, five miles back. And then that way I'll be getting in and my little bit of cardio, just ride yeah. to the gym, do the do my climbing and then ride back out. That'd and I think it'd be Gucci. So I'm excited for that. And the, the new bike is just, it's it's a nice fucking bike. She pretty. She orange. She uh, orange. I'm gonna start what bringing it to her? work too, huh? What'd you call her? Oh, she doesn't have a name yet. I'm bike leash. Bike leash. <laughs> bike leash. It is. It goes along with the bus to school leash. Yeah. I'm gonna right. start bringing it to work because there's a trail right over here that I'm gonna ride. Sick. So yeah, I'll join you. Bad. But, oh, but like not when it's cold, right? Well, I'm gonna I'm bringing it next cold. week. I don't care if it's cold or not. Only reason I didn't bring it today is because I did the thing with my muscle Wait, yesterday. So. If you have is the like trail your off road, no, it's oh. um, it's like a Monon esque trail. All right, I'll if join you've you. got like your jeans and like a jacket, like riding a bike and just that self produced heat is yeah. Fucking peak. Dude, I always start with a coat and having a and then speaker like, oh. with some music, dude. Oh, dude, man, yeah. I miss living next to the Monon, dude. Mm. I miss living in downtown, Chris. I made you a mistake. A nice, uh, no, you, <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, no, you, you, got, didn't. you guys have a nice couple trails up here. There's nice, at least like big sidewalks. They give Caucasians really big sidewalks up here, <laughs> <laughs> man. Like, but they're so, <laughs> they're so indis- <laughs> like you. There's no way. To walk on down this road that we live on, don't mention yeah. the road. If you wanted to walk down this road, there will be. There, there's a sidewalk, and then you have to risk your life. Yeah. And then there's a sidewalk, and then you got to risk and your you, life again. And you guys want me to walk this in the, in the morning? Commute. You said you you're strong. Bike it. You, you, mm-hmm. There will be. All right. So, um, I all right. We I had a couple of things I wanted to gloss over. So just let me gloss over these things super quick. Okay. Yeah. Cocaine bears coming up. Go watch it this week. I, really, I want to watch man, it. Should yes. we react to it, or can we just watch it for the movie? Um, is good it, question. I don't know when it's going to be on streaming. That's a serious question. I'll probably. Okay. I don't know. I'm just saying, go yeah, watch actually, it. For, that might be a yeah. fun one to react. Go because, watch it for because, the fun of watching. And for Ray Liotta's last movie. Yeah, uh, that the war in Ukraine just reached at one year. And Damn. think about Man. this: Damn. we live in a point in time where eventually someone's going to make content about it. Like, what do you mean content about it? I mean, like, like there's, talk about like a documentary style, or be like, I mean, there's, like, hey, I mean, Ukraine. Or there's, there's movies all... that are about nine eleven, and oh, they're not documentaries. Like, you mean like, okay. you mean like, okay, because okay. I was like, there's plenty of YouTube. Yeah, 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 I mean, like, eventually, there's gonna be like a, it's gonna be a Hollywood like a movie, movie yeah. about yeah. like a journalist or some American or something who went over there, and I don't know. It's just yeah, weird we, that we, we live. Had, uh, American sniper, you know. Yeah, like we're yeah. It, we. I think our our lives. It's like we're li- we'll live through an event and be like, there's gonna be a movie about this, and like. Five years, like the pandemic movies haven't hit yet, but actually they've already been movie? out. Huh? Yeah, they have. There have been movies about nine eleven, but also there's a movie there's with a... Robert Pattinson in it, and I keep bringing this fucking movie up. I think it's called like Don't Forget Me or some shit. There's... And the last shot, he has to go. Him and his dad have a strained relationship, and he has to go visit his dad at his office downtown New York. And they just keep saying the office is downtown, and he finally goes to visit his dad, and his dad's like not in the office, and he's waiting for his dad, and his dad's running late. And then the camera pulls back, and it shows the date. It's like September 9th, and then it shows that he's in one of the twin towers. And you're like, oh, the kid's gonna die, and it's just like, what the fuck. Like we could make this whole movie without it. Like nine eleven was just a tack on at the end. So well, there's gonna okay, be shit like that. I, I liked uh, Rain Over Me. I feel like that kind of handled. Yeah, it. they handled it better. It was more of like a side note. And so those were that. Uh, before we talk about the movies, hmm. and I'm gonna skip the what are you excited for this year? I think we can talk about that next time because I think these next two topics are gonna take up a while. Pat, what's your take on the world? Mm-hmm. You don't want to talk about it? You don't no, have to. No, no, I don't have a take on the world. But the, it's just the thing you said yesterday, I think. Wait, was what, real, what, did, what did I say yesterday? You said that, uh, <laughs> and I quote, Earth should be lucky to have us. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're going to talk about this right now. All right, fine, let's go. Let's, let's talk about human. this. I, yeah, I want, I, want you, I want your clarified take. I want the world, <laughs> I want the internet world to hear your take on the world world. All right, listen. <laughs> Look, we as humans, all right, or we evolved from, from whatever, as our intelligent beings, whatever, you know, whatever we evolved from, we came here and we chose Earth for a reason because it provided oxygen and water. What? Uh, hold on, hold on, let's keep going. Uh, okay, it yeah. provided <laughs> oxygen and water, right? We, we, we somehow, we, we, our ancestors or celestial things chose this place for us here. Earth is our home, all right? So, so, you, so the Earth's job, if, it's, if it provides us oxygen and water and the basic needs for our to live, that's his job. That is his job to provide thing for us to live because we could have been anywhere. We could be on any other planet. I know other planets are not um, habitable or whatever you want to call it, but I, I, I feel like we're so smart. We could figure out a way to adapt. We'll probably create an organ or something like that. I'm talking about down the line in the future. Like, because we like, this is like earth is so old. Like, but I'm just saying we, they could have been a different species. Like we could have been a different species there. <laughs> 
But uh, okay, so so the whole the whole the the foundation of this whole thing is you believe that we were brought here from aliens, or we that's come, what I, so you think I, we, we come from, from aliens? aliens? The whole I, I, we I, I, chose. So we need, I look we need, this is, we need I, to I, set I, the foundation. Okay, so, so I, this is where I feel like I I don't I feel like this is how we came here. I feel like before before dinosaurs, okay. all right, there were celestial beings around. Okay, there okay. celestial beings that they chose Earth. Okay. All right. wait, wait, hold, hold on. Uh, why do you? Where, where does this come from? Where, 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 why? Why do you think? Because, like, I mean, we we got to come from something. We got to come from somewhere. So you believe I, in God, then, essentially? I yeah, but I don't believe it. The guys that we are presented nowadays, because I feel like those guys, I don't think. I don't. I don't know. I. I, I just, no, I don't, I'm with you. I, I don't. I don't belief. believe it. I don't believe in the guys that we okay, believe. Okay. That. Right. I, I, I feel like because the guys we're believing nowadays are literations of what people think or they were, they were, they were told of. Yes. But so God, I'm talking about back, back, back before so dinosaurs. You're just talking a about couple of alien energy. beings for before and dinosaurs they, decided yeah. that humanity is going to be. But why well, no, dinosaurs? Not, not even did? humanity. They they it was. They, this was like they needed a place, and this was their this was their home. All right, and then they're like, "Ooh, wouldn't it be fun to have pets?" So they had dinosaurs, right? Uh -huh. But the problem was the dinosaurs got too big, and so they need to leave. All right, but so the they dinosaurs left. didn't leave, but they got they got they had, to stay. they had to stay. So they they took over the world. They took over Earth because Earth, you know, provided that stuff. Then the aliens were like, the, the celestials were like, "Oh fuck it, it's their planet now." All right, so then this is and the Earth's job just for them to survive is. is Provide water, oxygen, and the necessities to survive. That was the Earth's job. Now something happened. And, you know, dinosaurs went away, and then from that dinosaurs or whatever, somehow we, some little species or something like that, came out. I, I personally feel like a celestial being fucked a monkey. All right, and then right. we, we then from, from and, a monkey and, and, and that and that. <laughs> what color is to pass, sky to, pass to pass credit there's still a missing link in the evolutionary tree so uh, you know, you know, it is I, thick you it's converted um, Mickey it's plausible <laughs> <laughs> this plot right about the earth is our current boat go boat now we have one boat that just says earth should man up so <laughs> dog <laughs> and man honestly you should be like a B movie writer, dude. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro I, I, like yeah. That, that would be a really fun movie to watch. Oh, I'm, we could, I'm telling you. We could that's like that that's movie. like uh, Kung Fury shit, dude. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I. Oh uh, God. My and, body and, hurts. And so and so, so because of all that, Earth should nut up and do what we wanted to, right? Yeah, and because like my thing is. Even if Earth, like, because like you just said, like, if we take so many resources away, it's going to, like, flame up and we, we, we wouldn't be able to survive here. Uh -huh. But Earth will still be here. Well, if Earth could still be here, then just fucking just do what you need to do. Are you mad at the planet for You're being mad lazy? at Earth. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. Like, its job is to, like, the, the, the Earth doesn't have a job. The job takes hundreds, thousands, millions of years sometimes. It's not even a job. The planet doesn't have a job. It just functions as it does, and we right. have to live with He's that. He's just like, Earth, quit being lazy, you, you piece of shit. Do you right. A, do you Make more a, oxygen. Do you have an air purifier at your house? Yeah. Does it have, like, a time thing where you can put it for, like, two hours, four hours, eight hours? Yeah. Okay. The Earth is a giant air purifier. If we went away, it's going to be on a timer, but that timer is like a hundred thousand years. It's going to purify. <laughs> it's like, but it, I'm just it, saying, it's like, right like it's going like to do it its job. Like to, to, to like to, to like to purify, right? right. Just who, make that go faster. Like grow trees faster, grow plants faster. Who, just, who are you going to talk to to make that happen? You I want mean, to see Earth's manager. Earth doesn't have an HR. Like I know, I know, I know. So that means us humans, let's find some chemicals or some shit like that to make shit go faster. <laughs> Okay. Add more add chemicals into the equation. I think <laughs> I hear you and I understand your frustration. I just I don't know because we could be anywhere. We could be on a different planet. I have to worry about climate change. All right, change. All right. check, it out, check, it, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. What if we <laughs> turned the International Space Station into a vacuum cleaner, right? And we take a long hose <laughs> and we poke it just into the ozone layer to where it's below the atmosphere, mm -hmm. and, and then we turn it on. 
And we suck out all the and we suck up all the we suck up all the airplanes, bad shit. greenhouse gases, and just yeah. you know, why are we not trying this? This is the shit we should be trying. So gonna, farted into the atmosphere. We are I mean, actually in the space trying plenty of things. Yeah, we are. No, we are. What, we, what we're trying is like recycling stuff. That's no, 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 work. no, no, no. We're not. We we're trying carbon capture. We're trying carbon sink. There are actually a bunch of things that are happening that you just don't know about because they haven't started working yet. And they're not yeah. super popular, and they don't make a lot of sense to do yet. We are trying stuff. You just hey, don't know about it. Yeah, and there's like Terra. What is the what's energy just of the Earth? It's like Terra something that they're doing. But what you know, you know how you say it's up to the corporations really to like fix yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Do you know why things are so bad? You're gonna you're not gonna like the answer because you're a fan of this. Deregulation. <laughs> why do you hate <laughs> regulation so much, Pat? <laughs> because it's, it's telling me what to do. Pat, you wear a seatbelt, right? I don't wear seatbelt. What? You were I condoms? know the fuck you, you didn't were condoms? say as an adult. You were fucking work. condoms, Pat? Pat, you wear condoms? <laughs> Pat, Pat, you regulate if you put putting condoms out, Pat? <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, he lives very close, you know? It's, I but, also, you but most, are but, an enabler, Mickey. <laughs> but most accidents happen within a one mile radius of the house. <laughs> hey, yo, Pat, listen. Um, Fun fact about deregulations. Uh, East Palestine got bombed by a train because of deregulations. So, I mean. I mean, I, I, there's like good deregulations and there's like I mean, good regulations. You mm-hmm. know, and like regulations on like drugs and stuff. Like, or like that's good. You're, For like medicine stuff, that's good. But like regulations on like how much a comp- company could produce. I think that's kind of stupid. Your <clears throat> viewpoint only works if companies are like willingly ethical about and practices. i think i think i think deregulation we, only works no, if you can trust that. people and and we and human history since the beginning of time has shown that that's not the thing i i, I think <laughs> that i think that corporations need to be thinking about like because i learned this in college for like because i when i went to school it was like a corporation where we learned was like i had to take a class was like and corporation social like civilities like social responsibility mm-hmm. and like they were teaching that in schools like where corporations like we they have to like give back like they got to do can i let me but like, well, they come, come, well, but they're, they're not, not we get taught that but it's not getting all right pat you're the government okay amazon you're gonna go to amazon and you're gonna say hey you're a really big company you got to give back amazon says no what do you do what's your move bomb them you you you, t- you put hire, regulate? Hire, you put no you hire the taxes yeah you're like you're going to pay me more in taxes oh, so regulate so check it real quick before we move off of this because i do want to get to it but uh <laughs> pat so a company's job is to make money right yeah. is a company's job to make more money than it made last year yes okay cool so now because of that right <laughs> just just off of that in general that means that they need to produce more and to produce more, they need to use more resources. Yeah. And so if they need to do that every year, all companies, then we are extracting so many resources from the earth that the I, I, earth listen, can't listen, keep up. Listen, That's I, just I a fact. The, 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 the but, reason why we have climate change is because of capitalism, because the idea that everything right. and everywhere should make more listen, than it listen, made last listen, time. Listen, the goal is to make more money than last year, right? I get you Where on that. Stop? But the thing is, the money that you make, some of it needs to go back. All right, for social responsibility. Okay, so, so then they got that needs to go back into reproducing those resources. So what if? Okay, so what well, if Earth is just that. like, hey, I I can't. What if Earth is literally and like, that, I no, my no, limit. that's not an answer because that's the Earth's job. The Earth and we're job. back at it. The Earth doesn't have a job; <laughs> it has a function. That's like well, being okay, that's like, job. like your heart's come, job is to come, plump, plump body. Yeah, but and if, it's if gonna you do too much, that heart will much. explode. Your heart's a muscle. You're, you're gonna how, die you one can't day. You overwork your muscles. You're, you're overworking die. the earth. It, you're gonna die one day. You your know how you don't take a rest day. Earth needs rest days. So now I got, I got a Pat Ponders question. All right, after this Pat Ponders, we're talking about the movies. But yeah, let's. I got a Pat. This is this is. I got it because I agree with you. Earth needs rest days because I remember. Suresh was getting really mad about climate change one day, uh-huh. right? So I was like, man. And he, wanted, he was talking about being a supervillain. I was like, you know, he might be right. But instead of being a supervillain, uh-huh. I, I came up with a Pat Ponders to fix climate change. And I do agree because, like you said, maybe rest, or needs rest day. So let's give – and you told me there was a stat that um, well, during the quarantine, uh-huh. like, we were actually fixing climate change. It was reversing. Yeah. yeah. It was working, it right? It was drastically reversing. Drastic. So I have an idea. And this is, this is, this is going to work. 
The Pat Ponders. Mm -hmm. So now think about the, the, we could solve climate change, but mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta be willing to sacrifice some things. All right. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. All right. All so right. this is how we're gonna solve climate change. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this no this no I know you guys got got a man's like as I was about killing babies or something like no <laughs> killing. Okay. No death involved. They, the no babies don't involved. take up a lot of research. Man, okay. Fair no, no, no death involved. So here it is. We could kill. We could cure climate change. But I need. To, I need you guys to think of one person that you absolutely cannot stand. Annoying. You hate them. You just cannot stand them. Like you, you just around them, and you just you just can't stand them. So I just need you to name that name that person with me real quick. Oh, what? I don't have anyone in my life like that. I don't really? spend time around people I don't like. I don't know why um, I thought this was gonna go where I thought it was gonna go. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I, I got a few you, random you, you, actions yeah, yeah, you yeah, can throw in there. Uh, like, you don't have to like know them personally, but like somebody you just don't like. Shane Dawson. Okay. <laughs> you, got, you got somebody. You just, like, yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Shane so Dawson. now this is how you're gonna do it. You are going to. Do whatever they ask you of. You're going to spend time with them. You're uh -huh. going to do whatever they ask you of. Help them reach their goal. Uh -huh. So whatever the goal, you help them reach. <laughs> you help them reach their goal. Uh -huh. All right? What they're going to do is they are going to force the government, because they have power, they're going okay. to force the government to Ooh. shut down the country. All right? What I mean by shut down, I mean, like, there's going to be no electricity, all right, no flying. Why? The only electricity is going to the only electricity is going to happen is with the hospitals because you need that for right. People need to survive only for the hospitals. But after that, everyone's living off grid. Okay. For two months. But why? To that way, we don't I, use pollution. I can't fuck with two, it. two months a year. Two months a year because you said we. Why we can't, can't why can't we, we do that every year? We're going to reverse the climate change, right? I don't want to hang out with Shane Dawson to accomplish this. Why can't we just go to the government? Part? Yeah, what is the what does my they, enemy have to do with because this? Your enemy, your enemy I'm already has, taking two months away from being on the internet. Right, I feel like, like that's does, my sacrifice. How does my enemy honestly, all of a sudden also get the power to speak to the government? Because your enemy has the influence. All, all right, Pat. You know what? I'm here for this one. I'm kind of sure. Here for this it's one, magic. Yeah. I'm I'll do it. Here for this one. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll do it. Uh, two months is a long time. Let's start. No, with it has one to be. Month. Well, no, it has to be two. It has to be because like the fine, quarantine. Fine, the quarantine, fine. I'll do two months. The quarantine. Two months. The quarantine. The like peak of quarantine was like was two months. So oh, like it was way longer than that. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like talking about like when we like shut, shut down. Like actually like really shut down was like two months. It was years. way longer. Right, look, was like, for real? Bro, it was like a whole year. It was yeah. like more than a year. Listen, I'll do I'll do two months. I, 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 cause like two, two months, and and I gotta ride my bike everywhere, and I gotta and that means, but, 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 buy from a okay. farm. Two, that means, yeah, two, two months. months. Okay. That means no. That, that means these are services you don't have anymore. Here's, no, no, no. Here's the thing. Two, two, two months. Hospitals have full electricity yes. and capabilities. Homes. No, 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 no. Homes. Come on. Homes. Are you just demolishing homes? You got power to your refrigerator. <laughs> no, no refrigerator. Working toilets ice. Work and running water. Ice. What? Where are you going to get ice from? What are you talking I'm about? Talking, you live in Amish style. What if you live in Miami? <laughs> Where, where's your ice coming from then? <laughs> you got to move ice from somewhere to some. Look, you could do all oh. of this. Just build more solar panels. And then everyone's got to <laughs> deal. There's no Amish people in Miami? I mean, there probably are. But also Amish people have found ways to use technology. Yeah. I thought Amish people says they're about to not use technology. I mean, they also don't want to die. Oh yeah, man! They got cell phones and shit now. They just figure out ways. Anyway, a guys, I think a cell phone. I think Pat has given us enough sci-fi juice to write our own stories. Honestly, oh, yeah. Good yeah, lord. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna talk about the movies, but before should, we do, I, and I'm being sincere, you should seriously write down your thoughts because I think you have some good stuff sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm being I'm being dead serious. I just have weird ass thoughts. I have the shit you dude, say is some of the most that, entertaining things that, that I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't want to say it out loud right now, but that merch idea I shared with you guys the other day, like I'm I'm, yeah. go, I'm going to make that happen because it's it's. It just needs to happen. It but, needs to happen. I like. So Pat, I, I need you to start writing down your thoughts or recording them, like voice notes. Like we, we need we need material. And uh, <laughs> NYC Link, that you handsome devil, you uh, was saying that we're picking on you. I'm not picking on you. I think I like the way that you think, and I like the way that you come around to shit. I truly find it fucking entertaining. You're one of my favorite people to talk to, <laughs> even though I vastly different disagree with half of the shit. Like Earth ain't got no job, but that's <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're going to talk about the movies slash movie, but before we do, Spidey, will you please adorn us with your beautiful Unbelievable. hat? Unbelievable. You were in the group text. Dun, 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 dun. Will it fit? <laughs> what? You, you got to push look, it back. Oh, I guess I, I have less hair than you. So. You look like Judge Dreddish. <laughs> it was guy, so, guys. You um, misspelled watch, but that fits. Which is hilarious. No, no, it I fits. put the C back in there, you see? Yeah, it fits. It fits. 
Um, so Spidey didn't watch the movie. Uh, you guys can't see his dunce hat very well, I don't no. think. Well, Chris, but Chris, you also changed up the rules. The audience has no idea what happened. I did, yeah, yeah. So, guys, this is what happened That's last true. night uh, while we were getting ready to watch the movie. I felt that I found that um, last week when I looked to see if uh, the new house party was on, I said it was on Roku. That was wrong. Turns out it was only on like YouTube and shit, and it cost money. $20, I found that out last night. It cost twenty dollars. Honestly, worth it. But I so then I tried to change it so that maybe I tried to ask some questions and figure out. So anyway, raise your hand if you watched both movies. Whack. I have seen the first House Party. I didn't watch it in this setting. But raise your hand if you've seen the second movie. Whack. Raise your hand if you didn't watch either. Whack. Whack. So I we was, can uh, I, 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 I because like, that we've all seen the first horse, House Party. We're going to talk about it, but I definitely want to focus on the second one. Mm -hmm. And in, in comparison to the first, I guess. I thought the first one was really, really fun. It was kind of like Friday meets Superbad. Yeah. Know? Did you notice any recurring characters in this movie that were also yeah. in the previous? Yeah, Did yeah. they? We had Kid and Play. Yeah. No, I mean, do, from Do the Right Thing. Martin oh, Lawrence is in it, I, and so I, is... I, uh, I didn't watch Do the Right Thing. But Martin oh, Lawrence, right. yeah. Martin, Martin Lawrence Martin and Martin uh, Robin yeah. Harris... I can't think of his name, but he's the comedian. He was one of the three dudes that was sitting like out on the corner. It was he's super. Do they did they bring back the uh, the old dude who was like fucking in the bedroom and they kind of oh it. yeah I don't the the one. I don't think so. No. The second no. one is like a it's its own thing. It's yeah, own, like oh, okay. it's a totally totally new story. Sorry. But like the first one was a great just. 90s shotgun blast in the face. I, like, that's one of my favorite movies. It, it's one of my favorite series. movies. Aesthetic. It's it's just fun. It was just like a fun slice of life. Like nothing. Like you could interpret things from it, but I just it was just a fun little slice of life kind of kind of movie for me. Me and the homie John had been doing the. Uh, all right, you could you could just set the box down. Gonna set the box. <laughs> me and me and the homie John had been doing the uh, dance from that movie for a long, long time. We figured yeah. out we'll do some extra steps to it. That's cool, man. Yeah, it's it, was, a sick dance. it felt a little like uh, you know Bollywoodish, you know. The kid and play. A uh, kid and player in it as a cameo in the new one, but I mean the new one is its own thing. But it's it, so good. it has the soul of the first one. Yes. Without yeah. being, without, without like shitting on it, and without being exactly like it. Yes. They did a lot of things, and like it felt really updated, like yes. for like the newer generation. Like I, mm. I was legitimately thoroughly surprised. I started watching. I was like, all right, I all right, and I was like. Oh shit! I think this is gonna be fucking good, and then it was. I man. was honestly upset about having to spend twenty bucks on it. I was like, "What, man? That's really expensive for just a little podcast segment." But I have no regrets. It was a super funny movie. Really, you said it perfectly. Like it, it's its own thing. It pays homage without retreading anything. Really, like yeah. it, it had nothing to do with the first movie, but it felt like it. Like yeah, but it was. No. It was great. It was amazing. It's not like their kids or anything like that. No, no. no. The, the, the homages they paid were like in subtle ways, like subtle ways. Like yeah. so, for me, like the dance off they did. Yeah. Um, his like, his haircut. His haircut. Uh, mm -hmm. the Charmaine's for like her outfit on mm -hmm. his girls. Like they oh, uh, Venus. Lock. Yeah, and Venus's outfit was similar. Nice. Um, they had like the three Stooges in the first movie. Like you know, yeah. like, they yeah, had the, the bullies. The, the bullies. Yeah, the Those guys are all from. <laughs> I meant to mention this too. They're all from a music group called. Oh, God. Yeah, I was about to say because they're the big dudes. They are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, they're actually like super nice. And you know that song that, that keeps playing in the movie, "Ain't My Type of Hype, Baby" from the first movie. Yeah, they sing that. The bullies. Oh that's no! Their, shit. Yeah, that's their song. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember the name of their group, but <laughs> it was. I mean, you know, there's certain things about the old movie that that don't quite hold up, like the whole like. <laughs> Song he sings when he's in prison, he's like, "Nah, I'm not gay." Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's an old movie. Yeah, you gotta yeah, expect yeah. that they're gonna drop of, the ball. A lot of f slurs, you know. But uh, it was yeah. the '90s, you know. <laughs> the '90s. It was the '90s. Uh, yeah, I can't yeah, find yeah. the name of the group, but someone, I'm sure, someone in the comments has probably already said it already. But also, the first uh, house party was originally written for Jazzy Jeff and Will Smith. Oh, for real? Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh, I guess. Which, also, I would have slapped too. That would have slapped too. See, that would, I think that would have been funny. I think Kid would have been Smith. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think the first movie that that would have happened because this movie is like popular. Thank you, but Ben Reckless. Not popular as like mainstream popular. Hold on, what House Party? House first it was like oh, popular, but it wasn't like no. popular popular. And once again, this is gonna come around to I don't know a black person that hasn't seen this movie. Oh yeah, so, but I'm talking about like if Will Smith and like those people and Jazzy there, Jeff was in, you think it would be more it, mainstream? More mainstream, like other like other people would have known. It's one of those things because it's like I think everyone has their cultures where it's like. There's no one in the culture who hasn't seen this movie. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's probably like a um, what's the old boy's name? The famous Indian actor who's still doing shit, but he the old dude R H M R R P K. 
JML. SMR. I'm asking like, Mickey. What like what from <laughs> Shark Khan? Yeah. Like there's Shark Khan movies that you if you've been, if you're Indian, you've seen it, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like it's yeah. not all to the wider world, but like that doesn't that doesn't matter. The wider world, like you know what I mean? Yeah. And like House Party is one of those movies where I since it like I'm dead serious. Like my little sister's seen House Party. She's born in ninety six. Like everyone has seen House Party. Yeah. And I'm glad that I'm I'm glad of how popular it is now and like how it's persisted through time and like they even they mentioned like the pajama jam which I think is the third house party movie so like, we made money at that pajama jam we did it was like a house party movie concept and I don't know I think this I, movie did really well I regret okay so it was like it was twenty bucks to rent it it was twenty five bucks to buy it I should have just bought it but yeah. like I wanted to save money but like after watching it I was like this is fucking hilarious I would love to watch this again like. It was serious, like the new one. It was great. Like it was, it was a pleasant surprise. I was like, "Damn, this is way, way better than I thought." It the would stakes be. are nice and high too. Yeah, where like you can and, be like, so, "I would make that decision." Like he got to a point where I'm like, "It's kind of dumb," and I was like, "Nothing." Well, the, I think you got to pull the trigger on the, that. The mm-hmm. whole move, like nothing about it is plausible. But like, <laughs> but that that's where the self awareness comes in without being like Velma self aware. Yeah, you know, like it. It's like good self aware. Like it's. And then there's one part that we won't spoil for Spidey, but like at the end when they have to replace a certain thing, and then yes. there's just this, yes, it, it, just no, a, hilarious, just the the cutty, oh, oh. just it's just a very out of pocket sequence. It's just yeah. very out of pocket. It's it's it happens, and like, we got to get back. And I'm like, <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. Also, that was, that, I was I was so that was, I was surprised by that how they did. Yeah, that. Uh, Kid Cudi, I really like all the things that yeah. Kid Cudi acts in because I nice. Kid Cudi, actor. he's a good actor, bro. He really is, and, and he's like a good voice actor. If you guys haven't seen Intergalactic, watch that. Well, like that. hell yeah, Dude. like Kid Cudi. First off, shout out to my Midwest boys, but like he was in a show called How to Make It in America, and he did really good in that. He's in something else I can't think of right now, and he's like every time he's in a thing acting, I'm like Cudi, you do a good job at this, bro. And like yeah. I love your music and shit. I'm not saying stop doing music, but I put this motherfucker in front of more cameras, bro. I love that he played into it. So like, uh, well, there was one scene where they were talking about like his his albums and like just how he he, he played like emo Cudi. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he just everybody leaned into their memes you yeah know, like every every it was just great it was really really well done and so all right we're, we're going to talk about we're just gonna be a few spoilers for the movie one i recognized that they were going to do it at lebron james's house when they were on the basketball court because i was like oh that's the basketball court from space jam 2 oh. <laughs> two um when old girl was like my Damn. uncle from new Dude. orleans i was like if she has an uncle from new orleans there's no oh, way yes, no way no fucking part. way i will yes. watch it bro yeah. so you know, i got what, what what rapper showed up from new orleans spidey what, what's your guess um, uh, New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Come on, old school. Think old school. Oh, I definitely don't know. Fuck oh man. shit! Well, it was juvenile. Juvenile. Hey, 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 I was like, oh shit, it's juvie. Hey! hey! When hey. that song came out, I was so hyped. Yeah, I it, it, not juvie. It, it was good. The DJ played a cool role. I really thought yeah, that shit was, was funny, bro. Lil Wayne was also there too. Yeah, Lil Wayne's in it. Uh, Big Sean. I was gonna say Lil, Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah. a lot of Lil Wayne. Cam- yeah. Chris, when you just said that's the basketball court from Space Jam, I just realized something. What? Le- LeBron James is a fucking genius. If he used his house, his personal house, yep. twice for yep. two different well, movies, why the tax implications, yeah. bro. That's why he's a billionaire. Fucking, dude, that, no, that's, is LeBron that's, James a, a, that's a G yeah, move. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Yeah. That yes, is sir. a G move. Tyler Perry's been doing that since. The <laughs> first LeBron James, I think Tyler Perry's been doing that forever. I feel like LeBron James is also a big reason for why my tonal payments are going up right now, but that's okay. <laughs> you know? I will say, so like I, so y'all know I don't sports much, and like I'm not super big. I, I If I was at a LeBron James house party, I'd be hella hype, but like Bro. I feel like there were cameos and shit I was missing on too. Like there was just, this movie had a lot going for it. It was fucking funny. The stakes were high. It, it was a good ride, and it really, I, it, it had like, I was like, damn movie, you don't really have any right to be this good. I thought you were just gonna be a, a straight to DVD, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's over here hidden off. You got to pay twenty dollars to watch it on YouTube. I'm like, it was. I should have got the, a theatrical re- uh, release, man. This is a good movie. Did everyone have on LeBron's? Uh oh, I wasn't even paying attention. No, no, I, yeah, everybody was oh, dripped out yeah. though. Yeah, so so that's where I noticed like, uh, and it's probably stuff that LeBron is invested in. Like, I'm sh- there's no way he's not invested in Palm Angels. But like, th- there was a lot of like, um, I saw a lot of like clothing brands and like good product placement Street without like yeah, yeah, not like not giving focus to it, but you can tell there's product placement Uh-oh. there. Because I dude that that Palm Angels tracksuit that he had on, I looked it up immediately. I was like, I want it, and that was like, a, it's like a thousand dollar tracksuit. Like, it's like, it's like guys, ridiculous. Uh, the main dude, uh, Tawson Cole, is British. We've been stringer belled. Who? The main Kevin. Yeah, Kevin's Ke- British. Kevin's British. Shut up. You serious? Yeah, man. These British dudes, brother, just be sneaking in. 
Sneaking in, pretending like y'all been American this whole time. What? Yeah, Stringer Bell, I'm looking at you, okay. Idris Elba. Damn, that's dope. I did that's not know crazy. that. So uh, I I like the movie a lot. I thought you probably love the sports stuff. I love the sports stuff. I was kind of worried that they were going to do the sports stuff too much or lean into the like, LeBronness and like they were trying to go like to the analogies. Yeah, and, like, like the cameos. But I think they did it very subtle. They didn't do that many sports stuff. I think the chunk of the sports stuff was. The mirror shot that he did. Yeah, yeah. So there's stuff like you guys probably didn't get the fade. Like he always got teased on for like the fade. Mm. Um, so like your Lee, hairline is perfect. From, for anyone him, who doesn't like it. For him to go to Miami, he that made that decision on yeah. TV that was really bad. Um, so and then like there's stuff that he they he made fun of himself, which was really good, and like where he made mis- mistakes in the past. Yeah. One thing I learned though, LeBron really cherished the Cleveland ring the most because he won a ring with the Lakers. He won the ring with the Heat. And the Cleveland, and the one that he just showed a, up. Just a kid from Akron. The kid from Akron. So, uh, it makes sense. I, I'm not mad at him for uh, like. I, I want a hologram to compliment. And then myself. there's one, the guy that fell down the stairs. Yeah. So that guy, he is a sports player. Oh, it's Odell Beckham, man. Odell Beckham. He always gets injured. That's why that happened. Okay. And the guy, and he actually, there was somebody always looking out for him. That babysitter. That's why there was a babysitter. Okay, that's pretty funny. I will also say too. So at the end. And this is a move that this is is one of my favorite parts of the movie. Mild spoiler, Spidey. LeBron James comes home. Oh no! And then he's like, "I'm calling the cops." And they're like, "All right, the only way we can do it." He's like, "All right, LeBron, me and you, first to eleven. Yes. And he's got on a suit. And my buddy here rips the seat. The the pants are breakaway. (laughs) And he's got shorts on under. I lost my shit. I was like, "Fuck no!" Yeah, true bomb. I was like, "You got a tailored suit made that happened to have breakaways on it just in case." And so they get into this basketball game, and it's great because like. Homie's like about to play LeBron one on one, and it's like, come on, bro, he's the best basketball player in the world. Like, what do you, or what do you think? And it's great because he does he win. He hits the first one. He's just like, what? He's like, bro, it's regular to me. And then LeBron gets the ball and just like dog walks this man, like puts the <laughs> collar on him, takes him around the block. And it's just like, bro, like there's, I, I think no way in hell. Marquette was like, what the fuck? And I was like, he's the best basketball. I was like, there's this couldn't have ended no, any other way. <laughs> they kind of no, I uh, I think one thing this movie did dif- differently than the first movie is that even, the first movie, even though it's like super lighthearted for the most part there are like some political messages yeah. there you know i mean but, the cops suck. I don't know, that's a yeah political i mean the, there's but, yeah. The, the, but what i'm saying like the first one had a few messages that you could interpret but this one was just like purely fun and i'm, I'm i kind of like that you see i so I, I i get you there but then also like i mean i don't know they they're broken shit they're struggling yeah. and shit yep. it's all oh, yeah, they yeah, gotta yeah. do something crazy he's trying to put his kid through college he's got no way to no, do that's it. that's true that's true i mean if you it's one of those things where like if you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. Like even people who watch the old one, be like, "Oh, the cops are being assholes." That's funny. I, I guess what I was trying to say: the first one had more political commentary. This one was like it, it would focus on different things. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, man. So if you guys haven't seen it, who all in the in the comments uh, sound off? I know JJ hasn't seen it, but did anybody else get the chance to watch this movie? If not, the new one, the remake. The, the new one. Us now I want to watch it, Dude, bro. I'm t- I, t- I had that on Rental. Shit, man, it's good, man. It, it's it good. it's like five more bucks to own it. You might as well just buy it. Nice. Like, cause it's, you're gonna spend twenty. Uh, and you probably want to watch it. If, if you want to rent, I have it on rent. If you don't want to, I am. Uh, I am perfectly glad to have given them twenty bucks. I think yeah. I, it was a performance. I well really done. think you should get a theatrical release. I, I know there weren't any like big big names in it, like starring, but I think everybody did such a good job, man. It's kind of crazy think it too been a theater, that yeah. you can did be a. Lo- uh, not that I heard of. I mean, I I, I, I didn't years. know this movie was released. <laughs> this movie got released in 2023. This, so yeah. sometime in the last. Too yeah, much. It just came out. It just came out. Right? And Pat was like, oh, it's out. And I was like, what? It's out? I didn't even know they fucking made it. You know what yeah. I mean? I think it's going to be a Space sleeper Jam. hit and maybe kind of be a modern kind of cult classic. I might I, catch it, up later. That's, it, how, that's I, how the first it, one was. That's how, yeah. how it's not Space Jam. It's the new new house party. I movie. think this one has has cult classic vibes. It, the it, acting yeah. was good. Like I yeah. really like yeah, it. Demone's acting. The bullies, the bullies acting. were great, too. Yeah. The bullies were great. Demone was great. The tall, skinny guy, he was hilarious. Bro, so all right. So the bully, the one bully instead of having a dude with the squeaky voice this the new bully's gimmick was that he was like he's like, you gotta dial back your threats man he's like you, you your threats are going in too deep and like too intense he was like he's like we won't come back with a juicer and juice your dick and then make you drink that shit and he's like what the fuck bro like, 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 gulp thing. He's like, gulp. He's like, gulp. and he was like come on man you got bad he's like you're doing too much bro like it's like every time that dude had a i don't know if you guys watched the bloopers at the end either but he had a couple yes. different a couple of different lines he was trying i was like that's fucking dumb bro i love this shit like and even um, uh, Devon's character, he um, the shot that he took right when he hits the beginning at the end on the bloopers, he took that shot like six times, and he just kept missing, kept missing. LeBron was like, "What the fuck?" And then he hits it, and he's just like, "It's just nothing to me, man." <laughs> <Come> on, <bro. laughs> 
Well, well, well. Uh, so uh, I do want to apologize because of last week I didn't uh, thoroughly search, thoroughly research if the movie was available or not. So that's on me. Uh, if you guys, well, this you're won't lucky happen it was again. A good movie. <laughs> right? The, thank God. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we'd been here. The twenty dollars <laughs> would have made it hit a little harder. <laughs> I had to spend twenty bucks on this cash grab. Like, uh, I think we decided on hidden figures, right? Yeah. I'm gonna see where it's streaming at, just to make sure. Just to make sure before we land. Oh, because uh, we'll be in February next week. I mean, March. March. Yeah. March Madness. Women's March. March Madness. Yeah, March Madness. Mad- Ooh, should we do sports, basketball? Uh, yeah, well, white man can't Ooh. jump. Oh. Should we do Hoosier? Should we do Milk? Okay, f- Milk? You don't know what, what milk's milk is about. What's Milk? Isn't that about basketball? It's about a gay politician in California, man. Oh. I thought it was about <laughs> college basketball. All right, all right, all right. All right. Is that right. about college basketball? <laughs> no, man. It's about a gay politician named Harvey Milk who gets oh. assassinated. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Spoilers for history. <laughs> all right, all right. So listen. One, uh, it's Women's Month next month. So we're going to be watching women-focused movies. Two, yes, Roman. we will indeed do some sports movies. And for the sports movies month, I think we'll just have to shift that to April. But also we'll probably do uh, a weed not, movie in April. Not Remember the Titans. No, 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 no. I wasn't going to suggest Remember the Titans. Because, what I am going to suggest yeah, is, have you guys seen Breaking Away? Breaking no. Away. Okay, that one's going on the list. Because it's shot in Bloomington. Yeah. Who's been to Bloomington before? Yeah. It's a it's like famous movie from Bloomington, and it's got famous people in it. But anyway, so sports movies month. But any, instead of that, we're doing Hidden Figures. Uh, next month, so our next one? or for our next movie, we're doing Hidden Figures. It's on Amazon Prime. I bet. bet. Uh, so we're gonna do Hidden Figures, and then I'm gonna come up to with some. To rent uh, or to watch? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Yeah, Hold on, is. I don't even. Because Amazon will fuck around. Because they will fuck around. Uh, watch now for free with ads. Okay. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, yeah. Sure. Uh, so yeah, we're watching Hidden Figures, guys. That'll be a fun one, and then we're gonna talk about doing some sports movies. But I do want to focus on the Whammon for Women's Month, yeah. even though I mean, because let's be for real, we could do sports movies any month. Yeah. Ooh, you know what would be a good one, but I don't know if it f- change link. Change link. You, you never seen it? Oh no! You guys never seen it? No! Oh my god! Um, it's a it's a horror film, isn't it? It's not a horror film. It's it it's, like it's a, a true film. story. Oh. It's a true story, and it's hey. I didn't know wh- Darth Cadis went to school women in, in the India. comments. Would this be, would that be a good pick for women's? Because it's it's like it's a story about something fucked up happening to a woman because of like the time that she lived in and like a lot of gas. It's it's essentially gaslighting the movie. Okay, it's well. really good. It's really, uh, really good. All right. I will also talk with our local women's here to get some women-led uh, movies on. Yeah. But and that's we should, what we're we doing. Have, uh, one of the women be on the podcast. Maybe. Change link. Yeah, we, what? Podcast. We'd have to get rid of one of you guys, though. Dun, dun, Can a woman dun. take a man's seat? Is that even possible? Whoa. Oh, wow. We're getting we're deep the, here today the, on the Normie sh- Talking Podcast. We have to North thumb North. wrestle for it. They can uh, take my seat if they want. Yeah. No, Pat, I feel like you're the one. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta. Everyone's gonna want your opinion on. Yeah. I, I let someone take my seat before they take yours. <laughs> your, your hot take on a movie led by women is gonna be interesting. I, 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 I mean, you're gonna say something that no yeah. one, th- no one here is going to think of, mm-hmm. and we're all gonna be like, okay, that's kind of wild. But that, damn, that's kind of yeah. on point we're, too. We're so gonna, we gotta sub in Bree and Marquetta for me and Chris, <laughs> <laughs> and just let you go. Yeah. Hey man, the more I think about it, I think Changeling should be on the list. Oh, I, I, okay, I, hey, look, 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 calm down. I want, I want Changeling to be one of the choices. It's pretty happy about this, <laughs> especially because no one's seen it. I feel like it's like super underrated, even though I feel like it was big when it came out. But it's a, uh, it's a uh, Angelina Jolie. Push hard, push, push hard, Spencer. Well, guys, stick around for the raid. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap up the old podcast. The old podcast. And uh, Spencer, after you get don't stop recording until like the very end. And, and, and. Um, Hold the custody. Man, this has been a, a really fun one. I, I can't say that. Brown Recluse is a lady. Oh, Brown Recluse. I don't know why I thought you were a guy. Hey. I think it's because Serge talked about an Indian superhero named Brown yeah. Recluse. And he was oh, a guy yeah. who was afraid to come out. So. It would be so fun. It would I be. hope we do that. We were going to do a... Uh, we were gonna do uh, it, and it was gonna be uh, like IT, so like yeah. uh, like IT help, and it was gonna be Pennywise Patel's the whole thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, so, uh, if we had a dollar for every skit we didn't do that we thought was gonna be great, we have a lot of dollars. Yeah, <laughs> we would have a lot of dollars. <laughs> whole lot of them. <laughs> Man, uh, thank you for subbing. Hey, Just be a rock. Thank, thank you guys you. for hanging out. Uh, I hope you guys are really enjoying the the what is essentially becoming the Movie Club podcast slash accidentally woke. 
slash yeah. Pat Ponders slash Talking Normies podcast. That's fine. We got a theme. I, I like yeah. what it's morphed into. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot, and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it too. Mm-hmm. Stick around for the raid. We'll see you later. Bye. All right, all Bye. Everybody. We're raiding. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, I keep saying this every week in the music. I'm just <laughs> not doing it. Skip it, skip it, skip it. Hey.